When I moved to North Carolina, you know, and looking for basically something to do, I wound up at, you know, the community college there and soon wound up um, hanging around the uh, theater department a lot. And in addition to, you know, the typical things theater departments do, you know, put on little plays and for the school, th th what they did um, was they kind of formed a little acting troupe and went around to different elementary schools in the county and performed plays for, you know, little children. And I kind of, you know, I thought that was cool. But, you know, this was an elementary school and, you know, as such, the budget wasn't, well, it didn't exist actually. And so <coughs> they had to pull back on, you know, their performances. And I said, one day I said, you know, I can kind of help with that. So I started writing a little original plays that we all performed and went around to the schools. And uh, I enjoyed that. I mean, I, I did a little bit of acting. I didn't necessarily enjoy that as much as I enjoyed writing the plays themselves and, you know, watching them be performed. And uh, I decided it would be, you know, let me try my hand at a, you know, grown up big boy, you know, comedy. And while I was writing that, a flyer appeared on the door about the American College Theater Festival. Well, that, it had a lot of branches in adaptations and originals and drama or whatever. But there was a comedy playwriting um, award and it was sponsored by Norman Lear. And, um, you know, a bunch of the guys said, well, why don't you enter that? You're doing something, why don't you enter that? And I said, no, I'm like, it's $50, I can't, I'm not gonna do that. I said, come on, enter, the, you know, enter, it. Well, you know, what, ba outside of 50 bucks, what, you, what are you gonna lose? So I entered, and uh, it really went from there. We actually, to my surprise, and I'm not being modest to my actual surprise, um, we won um, regionals and you know, what was very cool about this was that this was a community college and we, as such, we went up against a lot of big boy colleges. And we won the regionals and we won the state one and we actually were, in, you know, got to the nationals and we had performed down at Wake Forest and I mean, it was very, very cool. And uh, we wound up winning the, uh, American College Theater Festival Comedy Playwriting Awards. You know, the play did, and as the winner, I got to come out and uh, come out to uh, Los Angeles. That was my very first time um, in Los Angeles, actually being on an airplane. I, that I remember very well. <laughs> um, and I got to watch television show being produced and I got to write a spec script um, for any one of Norman's shows and I had chosen Good Times because that at the time was the show that I was the most familiar with. And uh, I think I was out about, about a week or 10 days, you know, just watching a week's worth of production, obviously getting to meet Norman, getting to meet the actors in the show and getting on the set and all that. And uh, after that, I went back home, you know, submitted my spec script, went back home. Um, I was just about finished my stint um, at the community college there. So I was actually seriously considering going into the Navy um, after that. But uh, I got a phone call, I graduated in, the end of the summer, I think. And in November, I believe it was, I got a phone call from Norman's group asking me if I wanted to come back and work on Good Times full time. And uh, here we go. <laughs> wow. Do you remember what the play was about that you wrote for the contest? Uh, yes, it was, uh, it, was call, it was called Tilt. And it was a 
send up of the bureaucracy. I think that's why Norman liked it, because it had just a little bit of a political element, you know, about the frustrations of an old man through who, uh, through a mix-up, started getting Social Security checks in the mail every day instead of, like, every week. And, you know, he did the, the wrong thing, which was be honest about it and report it thinking that they were going to address it immediately and things, life would be um, back to normal. But of course, it didn't um, because, again, the, the machine, hence tilt, um, the broken machine, the checks kept coming now sometimes three and four a day. And he literally wound up with hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars in his Social Security checks and was starving to death because if he spent a penny, he would go to jail for the rest of his life. And he, They told him. And uh, it was about, you know, just, you know, trying to live and negotiate your living room around millions of dollars while you were dying, <laughs> literally. And I think because of the element there, that's why Norman liked it.